Chilies? Guess what? It's cup final time. And that means only one thing. That sound. Welcome back. You've now seen the uh, what an office looks like at a level 10 English football club. Um, don't worry, we're working on it. Now that we're being promoted to League 9, we're going to have something even better next season. But before we get there, we've got the cup final to get through. So grab your beer. Grab your beer and let's go. So here we are, game against Lower Breck, who are still second in the league. Um, what can I say? Us against them, I think we're favourites. I'd hope we're favourites. In terms of team selection, nothing new. We've got Valentine on the right wing, Jenkinson on the left wing, adding goal as always, Whitehead and Hunt. Uh, Hunt continuing to play the ball playing defender in a stopper role, Healy in defensive line playmaker, Gilboy as box to box midfielder, Arthur as our advanced playmaker, Chippendale on the left inside forward, McDavid on the right, and good old Moncrief on the pressing forward position. I'm slightly tempted to uh, take him off today. I don't think I will. Let's go. Five subs on the bench. Um, <clears throat> five sub. Five subs on the bench, and we're ready to go. So, while the players are warming up, let's get out there. And let's win this trophy. Please. <laughs> so um, let's go out with the, the fist pumping. Um, oh, I got a little bit carried away today um, because we have actually lost two games in a row now. It, it's not looking so good really for us in terms of form. But hopefully today's game we can leave it all behind us go out there with clean fresh minds after a week of training two days of training actually because it's league 10 and was only semi-pro oh we have a call uh, we have a free kick madavit and no well so as i was saying semi-pro we only trained for two days um so hopefully they're nice, relaxed, they're kind of, they're fresh, they're, they're getting shots on, but not on target. But can we make something of today? I know I was not excited about this, but now I am. It's the only kind of league final that we have, um, a cup final that we have this season. And Chippendale gets us off to a good start it's within 15 minutes, and he scores quite a lovely free kick. It looks like Belford may have had a touch there, but Chippendale scored. Can we continue that run through the rest of the game and get another couple of goals? I really hope so, because then I really will be celebrating winning the League Cup. Nope, I am excited about it. I am genuinely excited that we've got this far into the final and within my first season of taking over, we can do it. We can win a trophy. Well, technically we will win two trophies, as long as we continue to uh, do well in the league. But they've got a free kick. Ed punches it clear. Chippendale picks up the loose ball. He's going to run forward with it. Is he going to cross it in? He, he does that. And Moncrief knocks it away in the back of the net. Perfect. Could this be it? Could it all be tied up right now? Let's watch that again. Chippendale, quite a nice little run, and just passes it forward. I think maybe could have done a little bit with the pass if I'm moaning about it just because. Oh, 
it was a tie offside, which fair. Probably could have watched that, but I don't care. We scored. And it looks like we are absolutely dominating this game. 62% of the possession. Although our shots aren't great. That was a very poor throw. But quickly won back by Valentine to Arthur Healy. Arthur Valentine Healy. Val that, that's just too much passing, really. Um, good good passing play, but too much for me to sit there and comment on. Uh, Chippendale heads it over the crossbar. Look how many people that lower Brett Cav in their fan stand. That's insane. How many people turned up for this game? This is League 10. Looks like we've got a pretty much almost packed out stadium. Hopefully we made a fair bit of money from this game. As we come forward again, Moncrief with the ball passes are off to McDavid. McDavid. I've only had a couple of sips of beer. I'm not sloshed. But it's affecting me. <laughs> anyway, ball cleared, Hunt gathers, and that's the end of the highlight. Uh, I think this is it. I think we've I think we've won this game. Um, I don't. I mean, Reese Jenkinson plays poorly pretty much every game. I I really do regret bringing him in, but he's useful. I guess he he fills the position. Um, I suppose it could always be worse. I could have somebody worse playing that position. Um, so so yeah. Anyway, Stanley kind of makes an immediate impact as sub. And they could be in here. Oof. That kind of... That was a powerful shot. But luckily it didn't go in. But Stanley clears the ball. So with five minutes left to play, Valentine's going to do a long throw, who just messes that up. Morton picks it up. Passes it down to McGrath again, who's probably just going to pass it through to Moore. And shoots, and he scores. Of course he does. From however far away that was. Um, that was fairly impressive. But still, you don't want to see that, do you? You don't want to see opposition strikers scoring goals like that. Come on, Ed. Wow. So that possession that we had in the first half, kind of dwindling away a little bit. With three minutes of added time, two, one, we've won it. So here we go. Let's celebrate this moment. We've we've won a cup. Congratulations, boys. We've done it. Now they're all just going to walk out. And ready? Three, two, one. And... Oh, nope. And now? There we go. Look at them celebrating. They've done extremely well to get this far. Um, I'm still very gutted about the fact that uh, we didn't get to witness this in the FAVs as well because that would have been a lovely 30 grand in our, in our back pockets but it wasn't to be this year but congratulations boys you've, you've won something probably the, the first time any of these people have won any sort of cup in football but there we go. We've Bury have won the Northwest Counties League Cup. And we win two thousand pounds. And Edgley issues an apology to his fans. And so you should. And Coach Coop gets praised by the Bury supporters. Border, you know, they don't care. I mean they're happy about it, but it wasn't a trophy that they cared about. Fine. I, I get that. But they they are pleased with how everything else is going. They, they're probably ecstatic that we reached the semi-final of the FAVs. They must be happy with that, surely. Um, but yeah, that, that was a nice, quick, short video today. Um, nothing else has really happened, except now Coach Coop, uh, now studying his National B licence, He's, he's got his National C, he's now studying for National B. Not much improvement in terms of our abilities. In terms of reputation, still a 5%. Not amazing. Uh, team cohesion, very good. Club atmosphere, 
you know, having those two losses has had an impact. Uh, but managerial support, flying. Um, every, everything's going really well, except for those those two losses right there. The, uh, yeah. Oh well, we're, we're still going to win the league, fingers crossed. So, um, yeah, I think we've only got six games left to play. That's five games left to play. Six, yeah, we've got six games left to play. Um, seven. We've got seven games left to play. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to go away, play the rest of these games, and we'll be back for Lower Breck again um, for the, the third time this season uh, to wrap up the league. And we'll do a, a season preview of the well. But <clears throat> so we're going to come back for the last game of the season against Lower Breck and we're also going to do the season review episode as well um, and, and that that will be it that's that's the first season of Bury AFC Bury the Hatchet so I will see you next time um, for Lower Breck thank you and goodbye <laughs>